Hello everyone. Now, as this example goes, a man wants to buy 60 shares available at rupees 130, par value of rupees 100. Now, this term is very very important. If he is planning to buy the shares, it means he will buy at rupees 130. The par value of rupees 100 means the company has sold 100 rupees share for rupees 100 past in the past. But today, the market value of the share is 130 rupees. As the first part goes, how much should he invest? Definitely, if he wants to purchase one share, he has to invest rupees 130. So when the person has to buy 60 shares, his investment will be rupees 130 multiplied by 60, that is rupees 7,800. The second part is, if the dividend is 10%, what will be his annual income? Now, a very very important aspect is that this percent is given by the company or this is what the person is receiving. When we talk about the percentage of dividend, I already told you it is in two aspects. One, the company is providing you, the other which you receive. Here, the dividend is 10% means that the company is paying 10% dividend. Or whatever you have invested in the company, the company will provide 10% of that amount. As the share is of par value 100, so 60 shares at par value of rupees 100 will amount to rupees 6000. Or we can say that initially somebody has invested rupees 6000 in the company and the company is paying 10% dividend. That means 10% of rupees 6000 is paid by the company and that comes out to be rupees 600. So the company is giving rupees 600 as the dividend for the annual income. So the man receives rupees 600 as the annual income. Now the third part is if he wants to increase his annual income by rupees 150, how many extra shares should he buy? Now suppose he buy one extra shares then his investment or the income will increase by rupees 10. If he wants to increase the income by rupees 150, it means he has to purchase 15 extra shares by the company. Here the only aspect they have asked is how many extra shares should he buy. So here he should buy 15 extra shares. That means instead of 60 shares he should buy 75 shares for his annual income to be increased by rupees 150. They may ask you that how much extra investment is needed. We know that he is buying a share for rupees 130. So if he wants to buy 15 extra shares at the value of rupees 130, so extra investment he should do is rupees 130 multiplied by 15, that is 1950. If he is investing rupees 1950 extra, he will get the extra annual income of rupees 150. So we can say that the most important aspect in the topic of shares and dividend is the language. Otherwise, this chapter is almost the same as that of profit and loss. Thank you.